in all of this, Jesse? The Democrats have done a lot of dumb things in Trump's first term, but putting Adam Schiff on <laughs> television for two straight hours might be up there with the dumbest. The man looks like a rotten dandelion. <laughs> It's like listening to him is like being in the room when someone's vacuuming. You just can't wait for it to stop. He belongs in the back office, not selling a damn thing. He's the kind of guy that tucks his T-shirt into his mom jeans. And that's true if you Google it. Anybody can see all he wants to do is desperately be a senator. And that's why everybody in the media loves him, because he lies so well. And he just got caught in another lie falsifying text messages from Lev Parnas. He lied about that, the whistleblower, the transcript, Russia collusion. And let's not forget he got caught soliciting revenge porn by another man. Disgusting. He needs to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> this is what's happening. It's so boring. Senators are falling asleep at the, their own Senate trial. They can't even have coffee. They can't even have coffee. The networks are dumping out because it's so boring they're going to the soap operas. The ratings are down. MSNBC's not getting a boost from this. They had people telling us there was going to be a recession, World War III, and Trump was a traitor. None of it came true. And so now we're supposed to not understand why everyone's yawning through a Senate trial. Zion Williamson is making his NBA debut tonight for the Pelicans. That's what Americans care about. They don't want to see boring politicians with bad haircuts read their notes in front of a horrific backsplash. Ah, oh, backsplash. All right. <laughs> they, if you had high crimes and misdemeanors, if you had a smoking gun, if you had killer bombshell testimony, you don't think Republican senators would throw Trump overboard? I mean, they, they split with Trump before he was even elected. After Access Hollywood, after he went after John McCain, they bucked him on Syria, on the wall, on NATO. Anytime he opens his mouth, which is Charlottesville, asshole countries, they're, they're running to the cameras denouncing him. If the Democrats had a case, it would have been a slam dunk deal. They would have been convicting point. him in a heartbeat. Remember, they were going to convict him if Mueller had found collusion. They had their fingers in the air for two years. But the Democrats, they get their managers in there, and they've totally miscalculated this thing. They're insulting the very people that they're trying to persuade. It's like a prosecutor goes and tells a jury, if you don't agree with me to convict, then you're guilty of a cover-up, and you're complicit in the crime yeah. that the guy on trial is on the stand for. That's not how this works. Chief Justice Roberts is sitting right behind them, and they're trashing the judiciary. Every single president since Washington has claimed executive privilege. <laughs> and Trump's being impeached for doing it. Adam Schiff he loved it, even done it yet. when Obama claimed executive privilege, and now he wants to get rid of Trump for doing it. Let's remember, Trump didn't claim privilege once during the Mueller investigation. Mm -hmm. Handed over witnesses, thousands and thousands of documents, and they still tried to go after him. So now when he knows it's a setup, he's going to say, I'll see you in court. And they're going to say, no, you're obstructing. Right. The only thing he obstructed is Hillary getting into the White House and Biden getting in there in 2020. OK, so why?